New at 5, the DEO is launching an email update to reset PIN codes. Yeah, we told you about this yesterday. The first wave went out on Tuesday and includes a new identification system. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld has been working with the DEO to get these accounts reset. He is in the newsroom now with more. Mike? Thanks, Lisa. Good evening. The DEO notifications, including the PIN reset instructions, started going out Tuesday and will continue until we can finally say mission accomplished. An estimated 58,000 people discovered their accounts had been temporarily locked. I just got off the phone with the DEO. They say it may be double or triple that. Now the progress of getting them reset begins. As we first reported, the DEO messages started showing up without warning back on August 4th. Your account has reached the maximum number of failed login attempts and has been temporarily locked. It's really a hardship on those who need the money so desperately. In an exclusive interview with News 6 this past Tuesday, State Senator Linda Stewart confirmed the DEO email messaging was being finalized. Well, now it is. Claimants will receive news that DEO Verify is now available for claimants to verify their identity and access their account. You'll need a valid driver's license or identification card to complete that process. The DEO is also reporting that a multi-factor authentication system will soon be introduced so claimants can access the Connect system and their accounts remain secure. And finally, the DEO will be recommending that claimants use the updated Reemployment Assistance Help Center resource to notify the department of any issues related to their Connect account. Again, the email messages started going out yesterday. We're waiting for an exact number. It's going to be really high. I can tell you within the last 24 hours, we've already sent 1,000 names to the DEO for PIN reset. We're hearing from Tallahassee to Naples, all asking, what about me? Can you help us reset their PIN? And the answer is yes. We're helping people across the state. Remember, if you want to be on a list going to the DEO, we need the last four digits of your social security number or your claimant number. I'll have another update for you later this week. We're working for you. Back Mike, to you. Mike, you would have think that by now they would have cleaned up the it's DEO. Been so long. It's just ongoing problems, problem after problem. It's a cyber thief war. Uh, they're, they're getting hit. I just got off the mm -hmm. phone before I got on the set here. We were saying 58,000. We were News 6 was estimating probably two to 300,000. We think that's the number. It's because these guys are hitting internationally and domestically trying to steal benefits and identification. So that's what's happening. That's what's slowing down. We're working with the Secret Service on this, as you know, and we're going to stop it. What Back to you. All right, Mike. Thank sure. you.